about it all. The woman across from me, she's wearing a trench coat, a bouquet of roses. I wonder what they're for. A candlelit dinner, a date in the park, a night at the theater, or love in the dark. I don't know where she's going. Hello everyone, I hope that you guys are doing well today. I thought I would take this time to explain how I reset each month for Patreon. The week I'm working on Patreon artwork, I usually don't film as much because if you have watched all my other videos, I am a very slow artist when it comes to finishing an illustration. I literally need a week to finish a full illustration and two extra stickers and at least it gets done so that's what matters. Two weeks before the end of the previous month, I would ask my patrons what they want as a theme for the next month. For example, two weeks before the end of October, I had a poll. The choices was between winter and Christmas and my patrons chose winter. The reason why we're doing winter in November because I am sending things out a month ahead for holidays. That way hopefully the patrons will get the items in time to use for the holiday that it's for. So January will be Valentine's Day. Once the theme is decided, I start brainstorming ideas. I had quite a challenge for this month because I really had no clue how I wanted to go about with the winter art. Do you see this beautiful sketch right here? Like you literally can't make it out unless you're me. I took this sketch and I knew that I didn't want to draw Captain Frog or a mushroom cutting in because I'm trying to not draw the characters I usually draw all the time and I want to mix it up and challenge myself to draw other things and I decided to go with penguins. I've drawn penguins last year for another winter art but this year I wanted to draw them again along with the sketch that you just saw <laughs> and I ended up doing two sketches. The first sketch that I put up on Patreon, I didn't like how it looked like. The past couple artworks I've done, I've had mushroom con and Berwin hold a cup of coffee. I didn't want to do it again for this piece of artwork for winter even though it fits it. So I redid the composition. Didn't like where the penguin was on the right side. I put him behind the penguin snowman and I think it looked a lot better. So we went with that sketch. I'll post the sketch on Patreon and I'll wait for feedback from my patrons. Before I actually start on the artwork, I'll make the Patreon calendar for each month. This month was of course it has to match the wintry theme and if you don't know in Canada Thanksgiving is actually I believe the second week here in Canada so there's not a holiday in between Halloween and Christmas. It seems like most people don't celebrate it. My husband's family doesn't celebrate it. I still think this is kind of fitting because for me even though like autumn lasts until December 21st, I'm already at the winter mentality at this point. <laughs> so yeah, don't hate me please if you love autumn. I know there's a lot of autumn lovers out there. <laughs> Once the Patreon calendar is done, usually I'll work on the artwork in my living room on the sofa. I like to have Twitch on the background. I don't tend to stay in the studio too much when I have to work on the Patreon artwork because it's a lot more cozy just being in the living room. Like I said earlier, it takes me at least a week to finish the art print and the two extra stickers for the Frog Loot and Pendle Club tiers. Once that is done, I'll put a post together on Procade and then I will post that onto Instagram, on YouTube, and on Patreon to inform everyone of the goodies for the upcoming month. This upcoming week, I will be working on the Pendle Club goodies because during the holidays, I like having two send-offs. So one of the send-offs will be in the middle of the month and then next one will be at the end of the month for those who join later on. 
especially now it's really important to have those sent out before black friday starts because once black friday starts mail is gonna take longer to get to you so i want my patrons to be able to get their winter stuff before hopefully before december starts or at the start of december hopefully most patrons will probably be close to getting their goodies before december hopefully and yeah that's pretty much how i reset every start of the month for patreon today is friday november 4th and i think this is the first time i'm speaking to you after the last studio vlog i did quite a few things i started working on november's patreon rewards there's also halloween that happened and halloween here in quebec is a different from halloween in the states that i know apparently here they know that you're going to give out candy if your house is decorated now where i'm from i'm from north carolina in the united states and if you had your porch lights on that meant that you were giving out candy this halloween was the first time i handed out candy to the kids because before there was a pandemic and then before we lived in an apartment building that a lot of kids usually don't go to i also handed out some of my halloween cat stickers and i was really happy to give those to the kids also during the time I took a break from arting and doing stuff related to the Etsy shop and Patreon I've been wanting to do some needle punching so I did that One is this cute little penguin It kind of looks like an onigiri or a rice ball So I like to say that it's a penguin onigiri and Super super cute gold clasp in the back so it could be hung up in the wall also made this super cute pink strawberry I kind of wish I made it red now because the pink is so light and you can't see the yellow seeds on it but it's still cute it has a red ribbon on the top and the last thing I made which was actually the first thing that I made is a marshmallow if you don't know what a marshmallow is it's one of the tiers for my patreon it's a little heart here and he's super super cute I'm still trying to figure out needle punching I think I could be a little more loose when I do the noodle punching because I like to put like the I guess the stitches or the punches close to each other and I feel like you don't need to punch the yarn so close to each other but yeah I'll figure out eventually but it was a lot of fun to take a break and do something that wasn't related to drawing or doing art Today I'm going to get the Patreon Fisco goodies printed, cut, and ready to go. And this month I will be sending out matte weatherproof stickers. Let's get started on that. I think it looks pretty good, you guys. I'm really happy with how it looks. in my sticker designs on this matte sticker paper
Okay, Charles. <laughs> Charles usually has a lot to say when he's done printing. So one of the main differences I've noticed between matte and glossy stick paper is matte stick paper tends to make your artwork more saturated. So it's a lot more saturated than it would be if it was on glossy stick paper. And I'm kind of pushing the boundaries a bit on Silhouette Studio because I have the sticker all the way down here, really close to the bottom. But yeah, let's try and see how it goes. I'm excited to see that my portrait cut really, really close to the bottom. So I'm happy. I know with the silhouette portrait too, you can test the boundaries. I also finally got a new silhouette blade. So yeah, these are cut really, really well. Look at that booty, isn't it cute? I think these turn out really, really well. Here's one of the extra stickers. Here's the little birdie. The thing is I don't draw birds a lot and for some reason, it's just around the holidays where I decide to draw birds. He has a candy cane in his beak and he's holding on to the ribbon. Look how beautiful these bags are. These are Christmas gift bags and look at the designs on them. They're so cute. Look at this. We just got back from shopping and these are some of the ornaments that I got and they're so cute. It's a wooden fox and Kenny King. There's a cat that has a bell in the middle. This is a set of, I think these are foxes and reindeers. And they're super cute. They have some reindeers. A rabbit. Is this a rabbit? I think it's a rabbit. Then we have a super cute bear. I don't know what he's made out of. But he's kind of fluffy. I had to buy this bag because it's gorgeous. I might just end up keeping it for myself. And there's another bag that I thought was really, really cute. Then a gingerbread man made out of, I think this is felt. And then there's this super cute pom-pom reindeer. And this super cute large wooden, what is it? Wooden decoration. This is just Jean you Noel, which is Merry Christmas in French. It's super, super cute. I'm really happy. I don't know. This might be all the ornaments we're getting this year. And then with this thing, he's so cute. Look at him. This is a llama, and he's a door stopper, and I think he's going to stay out for forever. Also, I had to get a new laminator because uh, I might have ruined the other laminator. <laughs> uh, story time, maybe tomorrow if I remember. I needed to make an order of stay hydrated cats that were laminated with the self-laminate. I decided to try the trick with the laminator where people run both the stick paper and the laminate through together and the laminator is supposed to do a really good job with smoothing the laminate out. I forgot to cut one end of my laminating sheet down to the size of the paper. So you know, a laminating gets hot and because I forgot to cut half an inch off and melt it, I have a whole sheet of stay hydrated stickers stuck onto the old laminator. Don't be like me. Also got this squirrel, he's holding a nut and he's white and he's super glittery so you have to be 
really careful with them. Got this giant gingerbread man plush. And then we got this super cute little penguin statue ornament thing. Super cute. He goes with our little mini thingies over here. Mm -hmm. 